Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We will proceed to our uh, second part under the topic of liquid preparation and in this lecture I will explain to you a bit on the external liquid preparations At the end of this uh, lecture you are expected to be able to define uh, commonly used external liquid preparation such as douche, enema, liniment, collodion, ear drops and nasal drops um, uh, to identify the important components of the formulation for external liquid preparation and to formulate and prepare some commonly used external liquid preparation. So, uh, in terms of the formulation and preparation, we will focus, uh, we, we will have that uh, in the practical session that we will have later. But um, we, uh, we will uh, see some theory behind the preparation uh, methods. Um, so, as we have uh, discussed earlier on, there are two uh, routes, okay, two general routes of administration, which is uh, which are the internal and the external administration route. So for this particular lecture, we will focus on the external route. Um, so it means that uh, the product that we will discuss are those that uh, are are going to be used on the external part of our body. So, uh, for the purpose of this lecture, we will discuss a few preparations which are douche, enema, liniment, uh, collodion, ear drops and nasal drops or nasal spray. Um, so, um, each, um, each of these product uh, has a different function okay, and uh, different properties. Um, uh, depending, on this, uh, depending on the dosage form, uh, it's uh, their their application will also differs. So for today, uh, first of all, we will define what is uh, actually an external liquid preparation. So um, basically, external liquid preparation is a pharmaceutical preparation, which is neither solid or gases containing medications. Okay, they contain medication or an active uh, pharmaceutical ingredient intended to be used on the surface of the body so they are not supposed to be applied or to be ingested so it is very important for us to put a clear label uh, that say that this is for external use only and not to be taken by mouth um, another important point for external preparation is that we have to make sure that the label is uh, red in color so that to give a warning to the patient uh, to avoid them from ingesting So, um, again, the preparation can be also uh, uh, classified according to either solution, um, suspensions, or emulsion. Okay, so this is a typing error, so this is supposed to be suspension. Okay, for, first of all, is douche. Uh, douche is actually, uh, the word douche actually comes from uh, a French word which means to shower, to wash or to soak. Uh, we pronounce it as douche, eh? douche. Um, uh, not duke or duche or something like that. It is pronounced as douche. It refers to a device which use is to introduce a stream of water or medicated water into the body, into a part of the body for, uh, for treatment or cleaning reasons. Okay? The douche is usually formulated for vaginal cleansing, uh, which means um, for irrigation of vagina, but may also be used for other parts of the body such as nasal douche. So uh, generally, we have two types of douche. We have vagina douche and also a nasal douche. Both is uh, both function to clean or to irrigate uh, the same um, body part. The vaginal douche may contain soda, Soda its function is to remove vaginal discharge, antiseptic to treat any infection, and fragrance or fragrance to remove odor. Nasal douche may contain uh, salt such as sodium chloride um, and water for cleaning of blocked nose. So for little ba babies, usually for children less than two years old, they uh, we couldn't prescribe to them um, uh, uh, drugs okay for uh, blocked nose or for uh, runny nose. So, it's, it's contraindicated for little babies to uh, receive uh, or to to be administered with um, uh, drugs, okay, for blocked nose or runny nose. So, in this kind of population, uh, in these small babies, 
usually we will give a nasal douche so for the parents just to uh, to clean the nose uh, to ease or to help them to breathe uh, okay so in in such a case uh, for babies we will usually just give them um, nasal douche so example of product uh, for vaginal douche is uh, betadine okay betadine 10% povidone iodine which is an antiseptic uh, okay um, but the we have to be aware that the disadvantages of douching is more than the advantages thus douche can, uh, should all should only be used if medically indicated so if um, we have to weigh between the advantages and the disadvantages um, if it's not indicated we would we would not uh, uh, suggest douching for patients um, women uh, usually uh, uh, use uh, douche to uh, to cleanse the vagina from odors post menses uh, or to prevent pregnancy after intercourse but this is not scientifically proven to be effective uh, washing with water and mild soap is usually enough but if there is vaginal discharge with order it could be sign of infection under this condition it will be much better to see a doctor to treat the infection um, yeah usually uh, because uh, vagina has a very sensitive uh, 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 sensitive environment the pH has to be well controlled okay so if we introduce uh, and external things like this like this product it may affect the normal flora or the normal environment in the vagina so if it's really indicated then the doctor will ask for this product but if not we shouldn't uh, we should really we should be really careful with suggesting this kind of product so i would like to ask you to to find okay to search and list down the advantages and disadvantages of douching so from there you you can see better why um Douche is not very, um, not a very uh, common thing to be used uh, by patients. So I show you some example for nasal douche. We usually use a steri uh, sterilized uh, normal saline solution, uh, and we uh, we insert the uh, the solution from one nose from here, and uh, and uh, liquid will come out from the other nose. Uh, by using that way, uh, the nose will be cleansed. Okay, and with the vaginal douche, uh, it has to be inserted in the vagina to clean the area.